Hi, welcome back. And welcome to part 13 of Building My Gypsy Wagon. Uh, this week we're going to talk about the cost of building a gypsy wagon. And uh, I've been as frugal as I can be, but I have added some luxuries or amenities that not everybody may want or need. So maybe your cost can be lower. Maybe you do do something way different or use way better materials or heavier materials or whatever, and it may be a lot more. But this will give you uh, pretty much a general idea of at least what I have so far in my gypsy wagon. So as I've bought materials, every time I came home, I put them on a clipboard or on a clip. Every receipt, without exception, of everything that I have bought, whether it be Home Depot, Menards, Building 9, everything's here. Uh, the only receipt I don't have there, because I don't have a receipt, is when I bought the trailer. Uh, I, it was one of those bottle alongside the road paid cash. Uh, it was just a stripped down empty trailer, so it didn't have or need a uh, title here in Ohio. Any like utility trailers under 2,000 pounds don't need a title. And this actually at one time had been an old camper frame. But over the years, uh, it was turned into a utility trailer and sold and resold as a utility trailer and title was long gone. And So before I bought it, I inquired just how that works in Ohio and uh, uh, I can get a title for it. It's uh, not real hard to do, but you have to get it inspected and then uh, you have to pay a $50 inspection fee and then they'll issue a title for it, a salvage title. Uh, you have to show receipts. I got the receipts. And uh, you have to show receipts for all the materials used in any homemade or self-built vehicle. Whether it's trailer, car, street rod, whatever it may be. All the same process. Um, but that's how you get a title for it. So, I had to see the, the receipts anyway. And I probably have a rough idea what I have in it, but um, I don't really know for a fact. So we're gonna we're gonna find out together. Uh, I hope it isn't way more than I think it is, but we'll see. Anyway, so I'm gonna do it in sections, um, and we'll get started here. Okay, so we start with a trailer. Um, I got an awful good deal on that. I looked at Lowe's and. Menards and uh, Tractor Supply and Rural King and different trailer places that I, I wanted to get a new trailer, but it would have it would have added way over a thousand dollars to the total cost. So uh, I was patient and I waited. And I found this alongside the road for sale. Guy wanted a hundred bucks for it. Uh, I had brand new tires on it and a brand new tire on the spare rim. And I thought that was a wonderful deal. But it, I said, hey, you know, would you take 50 cash today? And he said, nah, I can't take 50. I'd take 70. Okay. Trailer, 70 bucks. So, uh, first thing I did was go get a bunch of aggressive uh, grinding wheels uh, for the angle grinder and uh, a quart of black Rust-Oleum paint and get all the rust off, grind everything down to bare metal, prime it, paint it. Um, so it was painted and ready to go. Uh, 30 bucks for... Um, a quarter of rust oleum and a grinding wheel and some sandpaper. Okay, so then I went to Menards and bought treated lumber for the floor framing and ply treated plywood for the floor. Um, total of all the treated lumber 
128. Um, so we're at $228 with a treated floor on a painted frame. Okay, so next I bought uh, pine tubitus and quarter inch um, BC exterior grade plywood um, and one by 12s. And that built the box that the walls sit on. Um, the two by twos were like little studs on the vertical part and then a one by 12 on the top. Oh, and I also bought a uh, two by 10 to cut corbels out of to support that ledge. Total there was 79.81. So we're just gonna call that 80 bucks. So total now is 308. So the next thing I bought was black metal flashing. Um, and it's hard to find in black. Uh, I wanted, I needed 24 inch wide and it comes in 250 foot rolls. And it was gonna take a total of three full rolls. It's 90 bucks a roll. So I just, I had to travel about 40 miles to find somebody that had the black in stock and ready to go. And uh, so I just bought it all for the whole gypsy wagon while I was there. So uh, that was $270, but that's enough to do the siding on the entire camper finished. So I'm gonna add it all in right now at 270 and then uh, you'll see where I used it, you know, the, the remainder of it later on. Okay, now we're at 578. And again, there's a lot of the material purchased for uh, later on in the project at this point, but um, that's what I had spent at that point, $578. Okay, so things really added up in a hurry after this. Uh, I went and bought all the materials for the walls and the roof to rough everything in. Um, it was $490.96, so we'll just call that $491 um, for all the uh, two by twos, one by twos, uh, and quarter inch plywood for the walls. That's quarter inch uh, BC exterior. And then two befores, uh, three eighths plywood for the arches on the gable ends. Um, two befores for the rafters and quarter inch plywood for the roof. And that included screws and nails and glue and some miscellaneous. So it's uh, say 491 for that, and then four windows at $17 a piece. Um, but by the time you add in hinges and a knob and the trim to go around it, we just call it 20 bucks. It's right around 21 actually. So we add in $80 for windows, um, and that puts us under roof with walls and windows in for one. I'm sorry for yeah 1,000. Two hundred and eight ninety six. So as you can see on in the last picture there, I started off with everything covered in plastic and hoped that would do it for a while, but um water got under the plastic um, you could see moisture underneath and I even though it's exterior plywood didn't want that to lay wet so uh, we kind of went into emergency mode and got the rubber roofing and got it on one last nice warm day in the fall before things got bad um, it needs to be above 40 degrees for the glue and it was about a 55 to 60 degree day so we did it while we could so it was $99 for a 10 by 20 EPDM sheet of rubber. Um, and then it was 40, 
I'm sorry, $64.99 for a gallon of the uh, rubber roof cement. So total of $178.37 with tax, and we had the roof. So now we're at a total of $1,387.33 for everything uh, under roof. And if you were going to paint the exterior, um, you could call the outside done. But uh, then I had to cover it in the metal. But I already had the metal all purchased. If you remember back, we already added all that in. So next came some siding over the plywood. The roof was covered and protected. I wanted to get the sides covered and protected with the metal siding. So next came the wood trim that went over the metal siding. Uh, one by twos, one by threes, some urethane some screws and some wood buttons and we were in business uh, about 120 bucks for that okay so right now we're at 1507.33 and the next thing I did weather was really starting to go to pot and I wanted to get it all closed in and sealed up so that I could run a heater inside and work on the inside for the winter. We had to get a door on there. So the archway for the door, the lumber for the door, the hinges and lock hardware latch and all was 102. Um, oh, and then I found a... Uh, a door knocker, a lion head cast iron door knocker on eBay for two bucks with seven hours shipping. So we'll call that 10. So uh, we'll add that in at another 102. There was 102 plus 10. We're at 16.09. Oops, plus the 10. So we're at 1620 bucks. Uh, 1620 closed in and sealed up. All right, so next was insulation. I got inch and a half styrofoam, uh, took eight sheets, was 130 bucks for the eight sheets. And I, I got a can of spray foam too to seal cracks and crevices included in that. So uh, with the 130 added in, we're at 1750. So next I did wiring. Uh, wiring isn't finished yet, but uh, what remains will be in the storage compartments. I have to wire in on solar, a charge controller, uh, uh, inverter, and uh, also a shore power inlet. That part of it's just hooked up temporarily, but uh, and still needs per the rest of it still needs purchased. So with seventy one dollars for the outlet boxes, outlet switches, and uh, Romex wire to wire what is inside things. So uh, you had to seventy one dollars in, and we are at eighteen hundred twenty one. So next, I bought the paneling. Uh, took ten sheets to panel the main walls and the ceiling. Um, and I bought some paneling glue, paneling nails, just some miscellaneous. A uh, whole receipt came to two fifty three oh one, so um, that puts us at two thousand seventy four total to this point. So then I built a bed, and it was a telescopic or ret retracting bed, whatever you want to call it. Um, it slides in to only 30 inches wide and slides out to a full 50, which is queen bed size. And a retracting dinette table under that and two dinette seats. Uh, I bought two batus to frame the seats with. I bought 
uh, one by threes and two by fours and a one by eight and a few other miscellaneous boards for the bed. Um, <clears throat> the plywood that covered the dinette seats and everything were all scraps left from the siding and the roof and all that of uh, the exterior. So a lot of it was scrap I used up. Um, and the whole bed and dinette seats total uh, we're 162. So that puts us right at about 2177 total to this point. Okay, so now we need a bathroom. And uh, what we put in was a little sawdust composting toilet. And uh, if you saw the last video before this one, that was about building the bathroom. And uh, it explains all about how they work or what the deal is with that. I was able to use almost all scraps to build most of the bathroom. Um, I needed one more sheet of paneling. I needed eight one by twos for wall studs. Uh, the rest of it was scrap plywood I had left, a bucket I already had, um, and scraps of paneling other than the one sheet. And then the door. So, the, oh, and a toilet seat. Um, so the material left to build the bathroom itself, uh, was only 30 bucks. That's the, the furring strips I had to buy, sheet of paneling, um, and I had some nails and miscellaneous. So the bathroom was actually built for $30. But then there was the door. Well, the one more sheet of paneling is on this other invoice with the door. Um, so I got a couple, couple tubes of uh, panel glue, hinges, latch, uh, and the tongue and groove boards to build a door out of. And, and I also did get some paint. Um, so the whole invoice came to 95 bucks. <laughs> it cost more than the bathroom. But anyway, so we'll call the bathroom. Uh, 100 and, let's see, 31, about 125 hours. 125 bucks for the whole bathroom. So 125 on to, we were at 2177. That's 12. We're at 2302 with the bathroom done. All right, so one invoice I missed, and I'm not going to go back through and edit all the pricing and video to fix it, so we're just going to throw it in here. I had a $60 invoice for three pieces of crown molding and some rope light that I put in right after I finished the paneling before I built a bed. So you throw that $60 in, and we're at 2000 three hundred and sixty two dollars that's where we're at right now now we got a long way to go and we got some expensive things to get like uh, stove sink refrigerator um, the kitchen cabinets and countertop will be relatively inexpensive it's more the appliances and water tank holding tank uh, water pump faucet there's a quite a bit to do, but again, you don't have to do all those things. Um, and right now we have a gypsy wagon that has a bed, a place to eat, a bathroom. You could cook outside, you could cook on a grill, you could cook on a fire, you don't have to have that. So uh, I would say for 2300 bucks, you have a, a gypsy wagon that is uh, inhabitable. Um, my goal when I started this was to completely finish it, all the fancies and everything done and over for under four thousand. We're just barely over half that now, so I think we're gonna 
probably we may come in somewhere around three thousand thirty five hundred uh we should we should do pretty well so anyway thanks for watching the video if you like this uh please give a thumbs up and subscribe i'll see you next week when we carry on <laughs>